Hello there, lecture series 23 of bite-sized corporate reporting focuses on IFRS 2, share-based payment. This is a three-part lecture series. An entity is required to reflect the effects of share-based payment transactions, including debt associated with transactions in which share options are granted to employees in its profit or loss, and Statement of Financial Position. This is set out in IFRS 2, Share-Based Payment. IFRS 2 applies to all share-based payment transactions, with the two main types being Equity Settled and Cash Settled Share-Based Payment Transactions. In the case of Equity Settled Share-Based Payment, an entity acquires goods or services in exchange for an entity's equity instrument, example shares or share options. A share option allows the holder to buy a certain number of an entity's shares at a fixed price in the future. For cash settled share based payment, an entity acquires goods or services in exchange for settlement in cash by reference to the entity's share price. So, how do we account for an equity-settled share-based payment transaction? For an equity-settled share-based payment transaction, an entity shall measure the goods or services received by recognizing either an expense or an asset with a corresponding increase in equity, normally reported in other components of equity, and has no effect on share capital until the share base payment has vested. The goods or services received shall be measured at their fair value at the date they are received. However, if the fair value of the goods or services received cannot be estimated reliably, the transaction is measured at the fair value of the equity instrument at grant date that being the date at which the entity and the counterparty agree to the share-based payment transaction. This would also be the case for transactions with employees or others providing similar services given typically it is not possible to measure the fair value of the services rendered reliably. When accounting for equity settled share-based payment transactions, it is important to ascertain the vesting date, that is the date the holder is unconditionally entitled to the instrument. In some cases, the equity instrument vests immediately. In such a case, the transaction should be recognized in full at grant date. However, with share options granted to employees, normally conditions are attached and thus expense is recognized over the vesting period. The second part of lecture series 23 on IFRS 2 share-based payment shall explore further on the measurement principles of equity settled share-based payment.